Hello student. So let us start our discussion. In previous video, we have discussed uh, what is RAM chip and what working over RAM chip. Here we will discuss memory connection to CPU and address map. So first of all, we will try to prepare the address map and then accordingly we will create the uh, connection memory connection to the CPU. So let us start our discussion. Okay, uh, let's say we want to create the memory of 1 KB using RAM and ROM. Now what is size of ROM? Size of ROM is 512 byte. 512 byte. Okay, and uh, what is size of RAM? Size of RAM is 128. Now, uh, 512 byte will be created using ROM and 512 byte will be created using RAM. But what is size of RAM? 128. So we require total of 4 RAM chip of 128 to create 512 byte of RAM. Okay, so 512 byte of ROM and 512 byte of RAM. Now, if you want to specify any one location out of 512, then how many bits will be required here? 9 bit. Here also out of uh, 512 location, if you want to specify any one location, then how many bits will be required? 9 bit. Here how nine how this 9 bit will be used? Let's say 128 bit. If you want to specify any memory location out of 127, then how many bits will be required? 7. And out of 4 RAM chip, if you want to select any one RAM chip, then how many bits will be required? 2. Okay, so 7 plus 2 equals to 9. Okay, so here also 9 bits will be required and here also 9 bits will be required. Now, let us try to prepare the memory map uh, for RAM 1. Okay, now here the size of uh, address is 16 bit and uh, we are having two options, read and write. So, let's see that uh, how this will be prepared. So, let's uh, write the value for RAM 1. Now, how many bits? Uh, how many bits we have used to specify uh, specific location of RAM? So, seven bit and two bit will be specified to uh, to select the RAM. Okay, so if we write this in uh, four digit hexadecimal, then we, there will be sixteen bits. Okay, so what will be the starting address of RAM one? Starting address of RAM will be uh, zero 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 zero. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and uh, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, so if we convert this into uh, hexadecimal, then it will be 0, 0, 0, 0. And uh, what will be the ending address? Okay, so. Uh, we will write uh, starting address here, so it will be uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, so 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, okay, and uh, what will be the uh, ending address? So, if we consider about uh, first 7 bit, then it will be 1, 1, 1, sorry, 0, 0 will be here. If we consider about ending address, okay, then 1, 1, 1, 1, this 4 bit and then 2, 6 and this one is third, so 7 bit. So, remaining goal will be 0. Okay, so if we convert this into the hexadecimal then this will be the 0 this will be the 0 this will be the uh, 7 and this will be the f okay so here uh, 
bit number 8 and 9 it will specify the RAM chip let's try to create the address for RAM 2 yes so in RAM 2 starting address first 7 bit will be 0 okay and next will be the 0 1 so here it will be 1 here it will be 0 what will be the ending address of RAM 2 all 1 so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 then 1 0 0 0 0 then 0 0 0 0 ok so if we convert this into the hexadecimal then this will be 0 0 1 2 4 8 8 0 then this will be 0 0 F F clear now here uh, you just uh, try to understand that uh, bit number uh, 8 and 9 it will be used to specify the uh, RAM chip okay so here this bit means 0 1 it will be used to specify RAM chip number 2 next RAM 3 so what will be the starting address of RAM 3 0 0 0 0 this all this 4 will be 0 this 7 will be 0 then instead of now here 0 0 0 1 and now it will be 1 0 what will be the ending address 7 times 1 so 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 1 here it is 1 0 so here this will be 0 and 0 1 ok so if we convert this into the hexadecimal then this will be 0 1 0 0 this will be 0 1 7 F ok so this 1 0 will be used to specify or to select RAM 3 if we similarly calculate the memory map for RAM 4 ok then uh, starting address starting 7 bit will be 0 ok now instead of 1 0 we will use 1 1 so 1 will be here this one will be here what will be the ending address all 1 so 7 times 1 1 then 1 4 times 0 3 times 0 1 ok so if you convert this into the hexadecimal then uh, this will be 0 1 1 2 4 8 8 0 what will be the ending address 0 1 F F ok so this bit number 8 and 9 will be used to specify the uh, address of RAM 4 now if we discuss about uh, ROM chip ok then how many bits will be used so we have to use 9 bit to specify address of ROM ok so what will be the starting address of ROM uh, starting address will be 9 bit will be 0 means all 0 ok so uh, we will not write all 0 but let me start from ending 0 0 0 0 so we don't get confused 0 0 0 0 means 8 bit and this is 9 bit and then we will use 1 so reason I will specify 
later on and what will be the ending address ending address will be 914 1 2 3 4 8 bit this is 9 bit uh, bit number 10 0 0 and 0 0 0 0 okay if we convert this into the uh, hexadecimal then 0 then here it is 2 0 0 and here it will be 0 3 f f okay now we have to uh, look at the bit number um, 10 okay so in all RAM address the value of bit number 10 is 0 okay so whenever value of bit number 10 will be 0 then RAM chip will be selected and whenever bit number value of bit number 10 is 1 then ROM will be selected okay so here bit number 10 will play a key role in selecting RAM and ROM okay so that's the reason that bit number 10 will be used as a chip select uh, for ROM now this 7 bit as you can see okay this 7 bit will be directly given as a address input to all RAM chip okay so this 7 bit will be directly given as a address input to all RAM chip then read and write will be given as a uh, input operational input to ram chip cs2 okay so here we are using cs2 bar chip select 2 bar means it will be inverted so if we will give 0 as input then 1 will be given as a uh, means 1 it will be considered as a 1 so uh, here what we will do here we will give bit number 10 as a input okay so in uh, all four first RAM whenever bit number 10 will be 0 so that 0 will be inverted to 1 ok so value of chip select 2 will become 1 and then this RAM will be selected according to the decoder but if value of bit number uh, 10 is 1 ok then this 1 will be inverted to 1 will be inverted to 0 ok so none of these RAM chip will be selected and uh, ROM, chip, uh, ROM chip should be selected it should be selected so what we will do we will we want to convert this one into one again so uh, that 10 bit will be inverted uh, to 0 means bit number 10 which is 1 it will be inverted to 0 and again that inverted input will be given as a CS2 so one additional inverter we will use so this 0 will be converted again 1 ok and then ROM chip will be selected now what is chip select of RAM chip select 1 chip select 1 is read operation ok so uh, there is no need to specify read or write why because uh, in RAM uh, in ROM we cannot store the data now uh, what will be the chip select 1 input of uh, RAM chips RAM 1 2 3 4 so we are having 4 RAM chips so for that we are using uh, bit number uh, 8 and 9 this okay bit number 8 and 9 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so whenever it, it will be 0 0 then RAM chip 1 should be selected then uh, 0 1 then RAM chip 2 should, should be selected then 1 0 then RAM chip 3 should be selected and 1 1 then RAM 4 so here we will simply use the decoder okay so what decoder will do decoder will simply convert uh, binary number into the decimal and then accordingly this RAM chip will be selected okay so if bit number 8 and 9 is 1 1 and 10 is 0 okay so this 0 will be given to uh, RAM, RAM chip 4 so 0 will be inverted to 1 and bit number 8 and 9 is 1 1 so 1 1 means 3 so here also we will get 1 as input so RAM chip 4 will be selected okay here uh, we will give uh, bit number means uh, 
bit number 10 okay what we have considered here it is 1 1 and here it is 0 okay so this 0 will be inverted it will become 1 and 1 will be inverted again it will become 0 so no ROM chip will be selected not other any RAM chip will be selected only RAM 4 will be selected and accordingly read or write operation will be performed okay so this is how a memory map for, for uh, uh, CPU uh, can be created and this is how a memory can be connected with the CPU so in this tutorial we will keep up to this uh, we will discuss more in next tutorial in next tutorial we will discuss uh, auxiliary memory and uh, then we will start discussion with associative memory thank you